All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Blues Game. Hey! Everybody clap. Hey! Zing zoom. <laughs> All right, so um, we have two couples that have volunteered to come down this morning for a newlywed game. Uh, Riz, let's meet our couples. Couple, Couple number, number one. one. That's uh, Kevin and Brooke. Uh, good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Good. Uh, thank you for coming down. Tell us a little bit about yourselves. Uh, when did you guys get married? September of 2011. September. Make sure you're talking to that microphone. Okay. September of 2000. We want to be able to hear everybody. Brooke, how tall are you? <laughs> I am 4'11". 4'11". Yeah, she's a spinner. <laughs> and, how, and how tall are you? 6'2". 6'2". Wow. wow. Quite a difference. So how'd you kids meet? At the racetrack, oddly enough. At the racetrack? The gateway, yeah. All right. So you've had sex in a car, I'm assuming. Yes. Yeah. Of course uh-huh. you have. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, what, do, what do you guys do? I'm a mechanic. You're a mechanic? And what and do you do? I'm a driver. You're a driver? Yes. Really? Yes. Riz. Rip. A driver? What kind of driver? Uh, auto parts driver. Okay, so not like a car, like oh. a race car. Well, driver. they meant a racetrack. I'm thinking like she's like a driver. No, well that's that's. Him. Okay. He's he's the rally car driver. So. All right, gotcha. And then uh, you guys are from what part of town? Fenton. Ah, uh, yeah, we're number one in Fenton, by the way. That's right. Yeah. Well, All welcome, right. welcome. That's uh, Kevin and Brooke. That is couple number one. Let's meet over here, couple number two. Mark and Danielle. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. I see Mark is wearing his best Bitches Be Trippin' t-shirt. Yeah, and she's got a uh, God Hates oh. Douchebag shirt oh, on. Oh, that's, that's old school. That's old school Woody and Riz shirt there. That's from when uh, the Westboro Baptist Church came in one time. And remember, we got shut down. We were supposed yep. to go out there for a big rally. We sure were. Yeah, we were told we weren't allowed to. It was a safety issue. We might have incited a riot. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, it happens. Anyway, so uh, Mark and Danielle, tell us a little bit about yourselves. Uh, when did you guys get married? Uh, December 18th of 2010. Okay. All right. So uh, you guys just uh, just under, really. Yeah. The uh, the newlywed umbrella. Yeah. That's all, that's yeah, all right. Yeah, it counts. <laughs> I forgot to ask you guys, how long have you been together? Not just married, but like uh, together. Seeing each other. Six and, years. Six track. years. Six years for Kevin and Brooke, and then for uh, Mark and Danielle, how long have you guys been together? Almost seven. Seven wow, years. Okay. All right. That's so about even. And then uh, what do you guys do? Um, I'm a manager at McAllister's Deli. Oh, love McAllister's. Delicious. And then uh, you, sir? I currently am a technician for CPR Cell Phone Repair. Oh, ah, CPR yeah, Cell Phone Repair. Very well. yeah, they've been one of our sponsors before. Yeah, and I will be starting a job with Microsoft here in a couple weeks. Microsoft. So, yeah. Look at you. And make sure you speak in the microphone so we can hear you again. And uh, where you guys live? South County. Uh, South County. Number one there. My <laughs> SoCo's finest fellow <laughs> South <laughs> Countyans. All right, so uh, this is the way it's going to work. Uh, we have questions for the guys. We have questions for the girls. Now, you guys have seen the newlywed show before, right? Yes. Uh, and so it's just basically a test of how well you know each other or can anticipate each other's answers, uh, right? Let's start with uh, with Kevin here. I'll start with Kevin, and we'll go to uh, to Mark, and you guys will both get the same question. Okay. So, Kevin, what do you think is her ugliest feature? Boobs, butt, vag, or face? Mm. You had to pick one. <laughs> What's her ugliest feature? Ugliest feature? Yeah, boobs, to, butt, vag, or face. Of her boobs, her butt, her vag, and her face. Which her, one do you th- Her you, butt. Her butt? Her butt? Okay. But. okay. Now, are okay, you a Mark? boob guy or a butt guy? I am, unfortunately, a butt guy, but she's yeah. been blessed with good boobs, so... Right. Good for you. Fantastic. Whatever, you know. Mark, uh, same question? I'm going to have to go with the same answer. I'm going to have to go with butt. I, go with I, butt. I am an, I am an ass man myself, <laughs> yeah. but she hates it. She hates hers, so... Now, but do you hate it? No, I don't necessarily no. hate it, like, but she—I like, know she so does. In your, in your opinion, this is this is your opinion. Okay. So, so in your opinion, do you, what what do you, what do you think of on her needs the most work? Her boobs, her butt, her vag, or her face? I'll go with boobs then. Oh, you're gonna go. I'll, boobs. Ch- I'll change boobs. Maybe. Yeah, because this is this is from your perspective. Sure. Yeah, she's trying to guess what you're yeah. gonna say. Yeah. Right. 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 All right, All right. guys. Question number two. Within three. How many people did your wife have sex with before you got together? Ooh. Within three. All right, we'll start with Within Kevin. Within three. Now, again, before, what, is she, what does she think you're going to say? Uh, before you got together, within three, how many people did your wife have sex with? Ten. You're going to say ten. All right. Yeah. Now, have you had that conversation before? I think, but it's dreaded been a while number ago, and I don't remember much of it anymore. Yeah. All right. So whatever. I'm not uh, about it. So you're going with 10. Yeah. Mark. All right, Mark. Zero. 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 Dang. Liar. <laughs> so, you, so you got her as a virgin. I did. Really? We both did. No kidding. Yes. Oh, no kidding. 
Both of you? Yes. Huh. huh. Okay. Now, wait, hold on. So, how old are you guys now? She's 24. I'm 23. Huh. So, was this like a religious thing or... No. Just decided to do it? Well, yep. you've been together for seven years, so you got together in high school? Got together senior year of high school. We've actually known each other since sixth grade. Wow. So. All right. Zero. And you're zero. confident of that one? Yes. Oh, boy. <laughs> Unless she's been blatantly lying to That's me for several years. Right right there. There. You never know. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, I don't want you to feel too uh, nervous about that one, because that, that seems like a slam dunk point for them, but I mean... I mean, it's got to be within three. Okay. You know, so if she says seven, you're good. If she says 13, you're good. It may be an argument, but it could be a wash. <laughs> right. All right, All right uh, Riz, next question. Okay, Kevin. Would your wife rather eat a pube sandwich or drink a vomit milkshake? Again, would your wife rather eat a pube sandwich or drink a vomit milkshake? Who came up with these questions? I think we all a, did. A wow, wow. Thing. Uh, wow. I'd have to... Uh... <laughs> Is there a right answer to that? No, no. What do you, you, I'd have to go. Answer, I, she she's think probably going to say. She'd probably think I'd say a pube sandwich. <laughs> a pube sandwich? Yeah. I don't. Okay. All right, Mark, same question. Would your wife rather eat a pube sandwich or drink a vomit milkshake? <laughs> um, I'm going to go with pube sandwich as well. Pube sandwich. Pube sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> you all right over there, Rafe? Yeah. All right. <laughs> what would you rather, a pube sandwich or a vomit milkshake? I think I would go pubes as well. <laughs> yeah. I think I'd go pubes, too. <laughs> How big of a vomit milkshake are we talking? <laughs> like a big glass. Like, like, it, a like big... it comes, like, in the metal containers? Like, as if you were, like... Like, a, they give you whatever's like in the if glass, you, and if then you they, were they at, give you the little extra, and the... No, no right. if you were at Crown Candy, and you ordered yeah. a milkshake. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> that is one big vomit milkshake. My God. All right, guys. Your final question here. Okay. And we'll start with Kevin again. Would your wife rather give her mother a mouth party <laughs> or have sex with her father? Again, okay. would your wife rather give her mother a mouth party? Her mom a mouth party. For right. sure. Father. You wasted no time. No. Her, now, what's your reasoning behind that? Just uh, Her dad is a very, I don't know. So they're divorced, so yeah. he's very good to her. In a, in a dad kind of way, I don't know. Yeah. It'd just get it'd get too weird because they're because really the close. other way wouldn't be weird at all. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, good point. But, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's still mouth party for your mom, you know. <laughs> all right, Mark. Same question. Would your wife rather give her mom a mouth party yeah. or have sex with her father? <laughs> Again, I'm gonna have to go with the same answer. Uh, giving her mother a mouth party. Okay, <laughs> mom a mouth party. Any uh, thought behind that one? Um, j- just knowing both of them, I think you know, they both would be awkward, but it would be less awkward, I think, with the mother. And they're both mm. listening? Probably. Say oh, hi. All right, good. Hello. Say hi to the in-laws. Yeah. Hi, they Julie. Were- hi, Darren. <laughs> I mean, they were, they were psyched when they had the whole thing about how they all both saved themselves for marriage. All of a sudden, it went way downhill. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, you know what? Actually, uh, we need we need a tiebreaker a tiebreaker question. So in that box right there, if one of you wants to open up the box and then... Well, let's mix it up first. Let's mix it up first. Ravy, mix it up. Yeah, shake. shake. There, there's a bunch of different questions on uh, different slips of paper there. We're going to have you one. guys... Uh, there you go. It's just, no, it's it's just, just the one. 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 Okay. I don't care. It doesn't, it doesn't Everybody really will get the same one. It's random anyway. All right. So uh, the, the, what is the question there, Kevin? Closest guess wins. How much does your wife weigh? All right. That's the uh, tiebreaker. So okay. for, for the for the bonus, what's your guess? I'm going with one thirty two. One thirty two. Now it's not closest without going over. It's just it's closest. Just closest. Okay. Yeah. So that that that's a little bit easier there. All right. All right so Mark. Kevin says one thirty two. One thirty two. My guess is going to be two forty. Two forty. All right. So. Kevin says 132. Mark says 240. Fellas, thank you so much for your yeah. for your answers. Good hi, ladies. Ladies, welcome. Hello. All so right, we have, so we have uh, Brooke and Danielle. Yep. All right, the, uh, the ladies are here, and it's time for your questions for the Dillyway game. You guys nervous? No. no? Not now. More scared for his answers. Than More scared for his <laughs> answers. Than now, anything. honestly, you didn't hear what went on when the guys uh, no, were in here. No. Okay. No. No, all right. Well, let's start with uh, let's start with Brooke. All right, we'll start with one. Brooke. Brooke, of all his ex girlfriends, which one are you most jealous of? I don't really know any of his ex girlfriends, so uh, you don't know any of them. Not really. 
You know their we'll, names? We'll say the one that I like know is Morgan. 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 That bitch. I know, right? We seen her at the Chinese place and he ran from her. Oh, really? Oh, okay. <laughs> Why? Just because to, to avoid Dead awkwardness? Right oh, yeah. Dead bitch. Right. <laughs> Morgan. That whore. All right. So, uh, same question. Here we go, Danielle. Of all his ex-girlfriends, which one are you most jealous of? None of them, because I'm the only one. <laughs> I've the been his only girlfriend. Only girlfriend? girlfriend? Yeah. So, I'm not jealous of anyone. <laughs> so, <laughs> none. Well, I think none. none. Is that a, that's an acceptable answer, right? Sure. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, if that's what he's going to say, okay. you got to match Let's up. Hope. All right. <laughs> yeah. Question. Oh, exactly, Unless there's Danielle. ex-girlfriends I don't know about, then we're in trouble. <laughs> Question number two. How big in inches is his penis? <laughs> uh, we'll say seven. 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 All right. Now, remember, your your answer, you're trying to match up with what he's yeah. going to say. Yeah. So. Right. <laughs> Danielle? Um, I'm going to go with Eight. Eight. Good for him. Now, are you just a one-upper? <laughs> no. Is that what you're trying to do? He might be the one-upper, but yeah. Now, I, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you this. We are going to give you a, uh, a one-inch lee- a leeway on your answer. Okay. Okay. Because, like, you know, I could ask somebody, like, how how long is this? And some people will tell me five. Some people will tell me six. Right? I'm sure they all know. <laughs> I'm sure the guys know. I'm saying, but, like, you know, it's one of those things, like, you say, I don't know. It's about a quarter mile from here. It's like... 200 yards. Yep. Some people Maybe don't they have, have health really. measure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question number three. Brooke, here we go. Would your husband rather have sex with a sheep, a horse, or a dog? <laughs> we'll go with sheep. You're going to go with sheep? There you go. Wow. Right away. Right. You didn't even think about it. All right. Going with the sheep. All right, Danielle. Um, I'm going to go with dog. A dog. Now, why a why dog? Man's best friend, of course. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Easier, less fight. Yeah. Sexier. I guess so. Sure. <laughs> With a horse, there's a better chance of getting kicked. Yeah. No, 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 Brooke. Did you have a reason? No. I mean, you would think. I don't know. With that, with that eight inches, maybe he'd want to go horse. <laughs> you know, maybe he just needs a a bigger housing. I don't know. Or he's hung like one, right? All right. So sheep and dog. Those are your final answers. Yeah. All right, Patrico, you got that in there. We're good. Okay. And who doesn't love wool? I mean, sheep. <laughs> that might be a little itchy. <laughs> that might be a little itchy. All right. And finally, how many people did your husband have sex with before you got together? Within three. I'll say seven. Seven. All right. So Brooke says seven people. Danielle? Danielle? <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Zero? Zero? Yeah. Are you sure about that? Yep, I took his V card. <laughs> no, you're, you're positive of that? Yes. How long did that last, by the way? <laughs> yeah. Don't answer that. I know, my mom's listening. Um, <laughs> well, your mom's seconds. probably psyched. What, are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> saved, you know, saved for marriage? Did you, now, did you uh, no. wait? Did you wait? Okay, like you eight wait. months. Okay. Eight months or so, yeah. Yeah, but you, you didn't... You didn't no, I think he was saying how long did sex last the first time oh. you both yes, waited. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, how long did we wait? Eight this, months. Okay. Um, Damn. It's a lot of chafing. <laughs> <laughs> Dry humping. A lot of friction. Yeah. I'm not quite sure on that. So you didn't wait till your wedding night? No. Okay. Oh, okay, you were together. Oh, wow. yeah, 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 we were together yeah. eight months okay. before. Okay. All right. So uh, you say seven, you say zero, and that's your final answers. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's bring the fellas back in. Let's bring the fellas back in. Let's find out who wins. Now, Ravy, you going to keep track of the uh, the points? Sure. Okay. All right. Patrico's uh, going to get the fellas. All right, here they go. Now, hey, fellas, no cheating. No cheating. Ready? Make, watch them like a hawk. Make sure they don't cheat. <laughs> All right. Start sharing answers. Don't put these over. All right. Now, how do, uh, how do you uh, you just go from the one that's on top? Bottom card. Oh, you pick the bottom card. All right. So you take the one on the bottom when it's time to hold up your answers, okay? And uh, since, the, uh, since the guys answered their questions first... We're going to give their questions first. Ladies, you're going to have to uh, try to guess some answers here, okay? All right. All right. Riz, are you ready? Yep, let's do this. All right, here we go. It's the Woody and Riz newlywed game. It's time to find out who wins. Here we go. All right, Brooke, so we asked Kevin, what do you think your ugliest feature is? Is it your boobs, your butt, your vag, or your face? 
What did <laughs> Kevin what you, answer? What do you Kevin think he said? I would say probably but because I don't have one, he says. Okay, so you, you say but. Yes. All right, now, uh, Kevin, hold up that card. From he, the bottom, from the he bottom. He said. He said but. but. <laughs> she said but. That's a point. All right, that's, uh, that's one point. That's a point. For couple number one. All right, couple number two. Here we go. All Same right. question. Danielle, we asked uh, Mark, what do you think your ugliest feature is? Your boobs, your butt, your vag, or your face? What was his answer? I'm going to go with butt as well. And the answer is? Uh, he said boobs. Oh, it's boobs. <laughs> he said boobs. Oh, no. Whatever. Whatever. What? So... <laughs> You no, hey, keep those cards down there, yeah, Mark. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, don't show off any answers there. All, All right, right, so so far, uh, Kevin right. and Brooke have one point. One point. All right, uh, question number two. All right, Brooke. Now, did that answer upset you? A little, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll still be married after this. Hopefully. Okay, cool. Cool. All right. <laughs> No worries, bro. I think I think I think you're gonna be fine here. I think it's <laughs> all right. He looks very nervous now. Like, oh crap. <laughs> all right, here we go. All right, Brooke. We asked Kevin, how many people did you have sex with before you got together? And we asked within three. So, how many people did you uh, have sex with before you got together? That was the question we asked Kevin. Ten. Is that your final answer? Yeah. She says ten. Hold up your card, and the answer is ten. ten on the dot. Oh, oh, my God. God. We didn't talk. On the dot. Wow. Another point Look for Kevin and Brooke. Now, she kind of had to think about it a little bit. Now, is that your fudged answer? I know you went no, to lie no, about your number. No, no. You sure? Yeah, minus that's the right three. number. That's the right number? That's the right number. The roundabout number. That's the right number. Plus or yeah. minus three. Uh, and pl- oh, yeah, plus or minus three. Right. You got to do that shady lady math. All right, uh, same question, couple number Danielle, two. Danielle, we asked uh, Mark how many people you had sex with before you got together within three. Zero. Zero and Mark zero. zero. Yeah. They're on the board. Then we'll ask you the same question we asked her. How awkward was it the first time? Because it was your first time, her first time. Anybody really know what they were doing there? Well, the, our our first time was our first time was actually in a swimming pool. In a swimming pool. So it was pretty sweet. Was there a lot of fumbling and stumbling? Swimming pool sucks. Yeah, it was slippery. Yeah, <laughs> whose pool? It, it was a. It was a community swimming pool. Oh, <laughs> wow. Gross. Wow. Well, you just like close your eyes, pretend you're at the beach? It, basically, we were. Yeah. It was um, at our grandparents' where they live in their community. And oh, wow. cool. So, what's really crazy is that you guys waited. And how old were you when this happened? 17. 17. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, like, it was just. Okay, 17. That makes yeah. more sense. I thought that, you know, it was going to be more towards, like, you know, 20. No, 17. That's right yeah. in the pocket. All right. All right. So uh, you guys have one and you guys have two. Kevin yeah. and uh, Kevin and Brooke in the lane. Right, here we go. Next question. So, Brooke, we asked Kevin, would you rather eat a pube sandwich or drink a vomit milkshake? Oh. Would you rather eat a pube sandwich or drink a vomit milkshake? Uh, what would you rather do? What did uh, Kevin answer? <laughs> oh, God. Uh... I would have to say the vomit milkshake. All right. He says, vomit right, milkshake. Kevin, what was your Hold answer? Up the card, and it he was... He said puke sandwich. He said puke sandwich. <laughs> oh, seriously? <laughs> if I just put that in my mouth, I'm going to end up puking anyway. So, might as well just be a puke. Just gross. drink the puke. Yeah. 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 And we're talking like... Uh, there are no winners there. Like, if you went to, if you went to, <laughs> no, if you went to Crown Candy Ladies, yeah. that, that size yeah. kind of like glass. Like, they bring it out in the glass, and they have a little extra there in the metal container. <laughs> yeah. If you get that for that, free. Meanwhile, mm. I'll be eating my pubes. Yeah. All right. All right. Danielle, same question. Uh, we asked uh, Mark, would you rather eat a pube sandwich or drink a vomit milkshake? What do you think? I'm going to go with the pube sandwich. All right. So she, is that, and that's your final answer, pube yes. sandwich. And Mark's answer was pube, pube sandwich. sandwich. <laughs> all right. You guys have uh, rallied. Now it's all tied up. Tie. Two each. Going into the fourth and final question. All right, Brooke, we asked Kevin. Would you rather... <laughs> you don't look happy about this one. No. Would you rather... Don't give anything away. Would you rather give your mom a mouth party or have sex with your father? <laughs> you would you the, rather the give your mom a mouth party yeah. or have sex with your father? Yeah. <laughs> what was Kevin's answer? <laughs> probably the mom with the mouth party. You probably give your mom a mouth party. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Kevin, Kevin, hold up the answer. Your answer... And mouth party, mom, a mouth party. Wow, look so at that. Long. All right, so. I'm, 
So now the, the, the pressure is on couple number two. They can tie it up here with the correct answer. The question is the same. All right, Danielle, we asked uh, Mark, would you rather give your mom a mouth party or have sex with your father? What did Mark, uh, Mark answer? I'm going to say the mouth party. You would rather give your mom a mouth party. That's and it is mouth party. And mouth party it is. That is, wow, look at that. Well, all so right. we're, we're all tied up really? yeah. going into the next uh, next round. <sighs> all right, look at that. All right, so it is time for the uh, the other set we'll of questions. It it's currently tied up three to three. I'm getting my questions out over here. Anybody's game here. Yeah. Now, you guys are good. You guys really know each other. Now, ladies, we had the guys draw a bonus question just in case there was a tie. Okay? So uh, it is all tied up here from the first half. Let's see how... The guys do guessing what their what their ladies have here. Question number one: Of all your ex girlfriends, which one do you think she is most jealous of? <laughs> Kevin, no, don't uh, don't be giving him any kind of like look. <laughs> don't even look at him. Yeah. Of all your ex girlfriends, which one do you think she is most jealous of? I'm gonna have to go with Morgan. All right. Uh, the answer. Brooke. Is Hold Morgan. Card. The card says Morgan. It is! All right, that is a that is a that is another point. Uh, she said you guys, I guess, met up at a Chinese food restaurant. Yeah, we, it was yeah. really awkward. I just and you uh, you bounced. Yeah. Had to get out quick. All right, <laughs> same question. Couple number two of all his ex girlfriends. Which one are you most jealous of? I'm gonna have to go with Amanda. You're going with Amanda? Yes. All right, and uh, hold up your answer. None. None. <laughs> no ex-girlfriends. Yeah. Because she said that you didn't have any girlfriends prior to her. Prior to her. Mark? Uh-oh. <laughs> well, kind of, it's, uh, <laughs> well, it's a lengthy story, but... <laughs> we got time. Kind yeah. of, sort of. <laughs> yes. Or I guess yeah. you guys got a long ride back to South County, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Um... There, it, Who's we were, this bitch? Tell us about it. Well, it was Amanda? Tell yes. us about Amanda. Um, her name was Amanda. Is Amanda. We still think. Um, there is some confusion about that because she said that she saw her and she was going by a different name at some point in time. Yeah, but like, but you guys were like boyfriend, girlfriend? It, it was a short stint of about two months and yeah. we were in the process. We, were, we had just gotten engaged. Oh. And I left and came back. So yeah. that's yeah okay. All right, did you kind of like block her out, or you you really didn't know about her before? Oh no, I just block her out. Oh, wow. dead bitch. Wow, that was bad. Yeah. All right. All right. So uh, <laughs> All Kevin right. and Brooke are in the lead. Okay, All it's right. uh, four to three. We have seen a comeback from couple number two before. All right, so here we go. Couple number one. How big in inches is your penis? What did Brooke? What did she say? What did Brooke say? I wonder how many people are listening. A lot. <laughs> yeah. Big show. I'm going with seven inches. All right. You're saying seven inches, and you know you've measured before. Well, yes. <laughs> now, was that from the <laughs> other side or from the top? From Under- the base. Fr- yeah, from the base on top. Seven. Yeah, you can't go from the balls. you got to go from well, the yeah, top. That's right. cheating. Yeah, right. Really. Exactly. Hey, good man. All right. <laughs> make sure we have an accurate measurement here. So Kevin says seven. Hold up your answer. The seven! Answer is seven! Wow. All right. That's a fifth point for couple number one. Uh, Couple number two, how big in inches is your donger? And I guess we're talking about standing at attention. Uh, Well, Well, if you had to get, yeah, of course. It's not (laughs) fair. Standing at seven inches now. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go with eight. All right. Eight inches. Again, you have uh, measured? Yes. Okay. All right. Mark says eight. Not from the ball, from the top. From from the top. top. Danielle said eight. eight. There it is. All right. So. Still, thank you. <laughs> still within a point. Here we go. Question Get down to it, folks. Yes. Question number three. Here we go. Would you? <laughs> are you checking your work? No. Just making sure the cards are right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Would you rather have sex with a sheep, a horse, or a dog? Sheep all the way. All right, he's saying sheep all the way. Very confident in that uh, answer. Hold up your answer, and the answer is... Sheep! Another 
one for Kevin. I haven't. I haven't, though. You haven't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is, uh, is wool your thing? I don't know. Just Love your wool. Your sheeps are no, cool, man. I don't... No hesitation whatsoever. All right. Couple number two. All right, dude. Would you rather have sex with a sheep, a horse, or a dog? I'm going to go with dog. All right, he's going with dog. And the answer, she says, dog! dog! All right! Yeah. Man, keeping it close. Oh, my God. Uh, it really all comes down to this. All right, this is it. Now, you guys can tie it up, or you guys can secure the victory. Here we go. Big question. The final question. How many people did you have sex with before you got together? Mm, uh, four. Okay. He says four. Now that's it has to be, be within, within three. Within, it has to be within three. Is that your final answer? Are you sure about that one? Yeah, that's pretty pretty safe. All right, you're saying four, and the answer is she said seven. seven so it counts. That's, that's within, within three. three. Four. I'm sorry, within three. That's within yeah. three. All right, so seven. Seven. <laughs> Okay. Now I guess we have to ask the question of a uh, couple yeah, number yeah, two. Yeah. I mean, there's there's no way for them to uh, to win at this point. But uh, no, there's no way for them to win. But yeah. let's just yeah. ask it anyway. All right. So the question: How many people did you have sex with before you got together? Zero. Zero. Are you sure? Not the, not this other yes. bitch. <laughs> Amanda. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. zero. Zero. And she said zero. Zero. Yeah. All right. So close. We still got a winner, though. Kevin so and close. Brooke. Hey! Yeah. The winner of the first Winners! ever Winning Race Newlywed Game. Winner of not only Point Fest tickets, but also tickets to go see the Blues Thursday and Friday. Uh, now, for our lovely couple, as you know, uh, nobody ever goes home empty-handed. We're going to give you Riz's coffee cup there. And the at-home, <laughs> uh, the at-home version no. of the War New No, actually, we'll, we'll give you guys a choice, either Point Fest tickets or the Blues tickets. So, your choice. Which ones do you want? You want to discuss it? Yeah, Maybe. Why, don't you, why don't you guys discuss it? Are you got point fest tickets already? Yeah, we'll, yeah all right. we'll do the blues tickets. All right. Blues right. Tickets. All right, then you're going to get some blues tickets. That's a, that's a nice consolation prize, what do you think? We're going to both anyway, so really everybody wins. All right, well, uh, thank you, everybody. Anybody you want to say hi to now that you're thoroughly embarrassed? Uh, my work, waiting for me to get there. All Hello. right. All right, there you go. Anybody on uh, your side? Uh, to my mom and dad, I know they're listening. They listen every day. So. All right, good time. Hi, mommy. And, yeah, I'm not yeah. going to call my mommy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, uh, thank you so much for being here, and that's thank how you, you play the War Newlywed Game. Yeah. Yeah.